Hey, my name is Matt, and I'm back with more of the best of the West. Today, I'm in Green River, Utah. So, the river you see next to me is actually the Green River. And the building you see on the other side of me here is the John Wesley Powell and River History Museum. So, I just got through going through here for the first time, and uh, this is a really interesting historical place. This is about 45 minutes away from Arches National Park. So, if you're going from Arches into central Utah, like you're doing a Mighty Five trip and you're going on your way to Capitol Reef, for example, or vice versa, this would be a great place to stop. If you're a Utah, this is a great place to, to take a little uh, weekend trip to Green River, Utah. Now this little museum here, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the museum. So it's called the John Wesley Powell and River History Museum. So it's kind of an interesting little spot actually. So John Wesley Powell was the first person to successfully explore the Green River here, which meets up with the Colorado River, and he explored both of those rivers. The Colorado River is what carves the Grand Canyon. He was the first person to, to float all the way through the Grand Canyon, and he did so with a crew of men. Uh, by the way, he was a Civil War veteran who had lost his right arm in the Civil War, and so he then turned to a career of geology. Uh, he actually taught geology at uh, a university and then he became an explorer. And so he came out in 1869 to explore the, the great, the Green River and the Colorado River and to go through the Grand Canyon. And then he ended up coming out here multiple times. He saw Zion Canyon. I mean, he explored all over the West. It was really quite a legendary figure in the West. Published an account of his, uh, his time and his explorations and uh, quite a major figure and anyway he explored through the Grand Canyon with a team of men about I think 11 men or something like that and they had four boats four little boats and his boat was named the Emma Dean uh, after his wife and uh, and then there was three other boats one of them was called the no name boat and the no name got smashed actually two of the boats got smashed and broken up so then they only had two more boats to get through the rest of the river it's quite a quite a, an amazing journey now, if you come to this museum here, it'll tell you the whole story. They have a great video that tells you the whole story of the journey that uh, you have to watch if you come here. Um, so that's the number one thing to do here is to watch that video, I would say. And then they have a museum that tells you about the geology of the area and the rivers, and then as well as the exploration of the rivers by John Wesley Powell and some other people. So well before Powell came through here, uh, some Spanish, uh, Franciscan priests came through here, Dominguez and Escalante. Now they didn't really explore the rivers like Powell did, but what they were doing, they were going from New Mexico and trying to find a route to California, but there was this little problem in the way called the Grand Canyon. And so the, it kind of knocked them off their course because they had to try to go all the way around the Grand Canyon and they ended up clear up here in central Utah and never did find California or, or a route to California. It was so crazy crazy little story but uh, this is actually part of the old Spanish trails what they call because later on they ended up finding a way to get up here through Utah and around to California and so uh, they call it the old Spanish trail so this is part of the trail and this is part of where Powell came so quite a quite a lot of history actually in this area um, oh by the way the museum is seven dollars a person at least here 2022 seven dollars a person for the museum you go in there, you watch a, a really well done movie. Then you go through the museum, which tells you all about the rivers, the area, the explorations, the Spanish, all that stuff. Um, and then if you go downstairs, there are some replicas of the boats. Um, two of the replicas are boats that later guys used to, to raft the river. It's quite a common thing still here, river rafting, like the Green River and the Colorado River, huge river rafting destinations. Um, anyway, then they also have a replica of the no-name boat there as well, the, the one that was smashed to pieces. Um, I believe this might be on loan from the Grand Canyon. When we were in the Grand Canyon earlier, or last year actually, we were in the Grand Canyon last year, and they had a boat there that was a replica of the Emma Dean boat. And some guys had actually built the boat and rafted the river all the way through the Grand Canyon on, on that Emma Dean, that modern day version of the Emma Dean, and they, they filmed the movie. So if you go to Tusian, just outside of 
south rim of the Grand Canyon, you can watch the movie of those guys sailing through the Grand Canyon on that boat. Really cool, cool stories. The video is really well done in here. And then when you get down there, they have a little uh, gift shop that you can buy some books. You'll, you'll be tempted to buy some books on it. And they have a really nice, cool map showing this entire area. You think this is in the middle of nowhere, and I guess it is, but it's the middle. It's in the middle of some amazing uh, scenery and just outdoor activities that you can do. So this is fantastic place to visit. We actually came here and stayed in Green River and used it as a jumping-off point to see arches and canyonlands, and then also to go over to Goblin Valley and check out Goblin Valley. So um, really fantastic. By the way, if you come through here. Green River is a tiny little town, so you're not going to miss this museum. Don't worry about that. And then right across the street from the museum over here is called the Tamarisk Restaurant. Been in business since the 70s, so it's well known and it, and it was really delicious, actually. I, I got a salad. It was really great. And you could just sit eating out and looking at the Colorado River while you're eating. So really cool stuff. Highly recommend it.